Welcome to uh, another episode of Potting with Shalon. Um, <clears throat> as usual, I am Shalon, and we had a bit of a tragedy this week gone. As you can see, this plant here, it was potted up, it was nice, it was going well, and the neighbor cat run and throw it down. It was on top of a wall. The plant has a lot of weight to it, so it was holding down the pot properly. And apparently it's mating season. And one running down the next one, and I set a bacchanal, and I came home to a plant and grow. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna look at it a little bit more in depth because it would have fallen and we're gonna see where, if there are any spots that would have gotten damaged. Do some cuts, leave it to dry, you know, and then we're gonna pot it up. We're not gonna pot it up right now, so I'm feeling a soft spot here. I don't know if when it fell, it hit this spot, right, or if this is a dehydration, it could be dehydration because it has been out of water since during the course of the week. Right, so we're gonna remove we're gonna remove all the leaves, we're gonna remove all the unnecessary branches as per usual, and then we're gonna pot this up. And after that, what we're gonna do, remember we got cut the branches from Big Boy. So Big boy's branches would have been drying for quite a while. This is the second week. So we're going to put up these branches, dip them in a little bit of rosin hormone, place them in some pots and see if we have the branch propagation down to our sides. Right? So again, we're going to deal with this. Then we're gonna deal with that. So stay tuned, watch till the end. Thank you so very much for joining. You know, like, subscribe, share, click the notification bell for future videos. As promised, I'm gonna put out one every week. And from this coming week, what we're gonna do, yes, because I have a lot of desert roses, right? But we are going to move on to other plants because we want to be able to go through all the facets of this bonsai world, you know. So we're going to move on. We're going to do desert roses, yes, because that is the thing. But we're also going to do other plants as well. So we're going to start with... Uh, Ficus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, look forward to that. So, welcome. Let me just go. So, one of the reasons I'm taking off the leaves is that when we put this plant back up, we don't want the energy or the concentration of the plant into men being wasted on maintaining these leaves we want it to focus on giving us new roots new feeder roots and then eventually the leaves would come now with desert roses you could pull back the leaves like this let me just get a little closer here so you could hold the leaves and pull them back like this you know and break them off but they have a they have a fluid or the for lack of a better way of putting it the blood that has come out it leaves a very very um, nasty taste and some desert roses are poisonous so to avoid all of that we just use the scissors and cut it out all right, then. we're going to go along the road.
So, guys, we took away all of the leaves, right? We just cut away all of the leaves, and now we're gonna go through the roots to see what we want to keep, what we don't want to keep, you know, how we're gonna go about um, what would be our design for this is that we're gonna keep this design because I kind of like this or are we gonna do something di different as it stands it does not necessarily make sense to cut these branches looking for a different design because these branches are quite young these new shoots are quite young as you notice here they would have been cut already right and these are young branches that would have come out i lost a branch here in the fall this is somewhat steady so i'm going to leave this in the hopes that this survives now we are going to cut away the roots that we don't want keep the roots that we want leave it to dry for probably a few days or the rest of the week because that seems to be we little go to and then we're going to pot it up. We're going to make sure that we have a pot, the suit, what our design is, you know, and pot it up. All right, guys. So all I did was cut some of the roots. the length of some of the roots and what I'm going to do, I'm going to take away some of these side roots Alright guys, so I busy talking and this wasn't recording <laughs> Wow Alright, so cinnamon plant anti-fungal helps the fight off any funguses or fungi, whatever the case is, you know. And uh, as I was saying, whilst it wasn't recorded, I think it's a good idea to have options, right? In the event that whatever you're doing, you don't know what is the extent and what works, what will work best for you, you know. So these are small cuts. I can apply this or whatever antifungal there is at the, um, the nursery or wherever you choose to purchase your, your plant material. And we are finished with this. So we're going to put this plant in a secure spot where it could um, heal over all the cut points. This is a, if you look at this, it fell and hit here. I put some cinnamon in there so that that doesn't become a problem because we want no problems. The goal is to have each plant and to keep each plant as a successful plant. I mean, granted, we're going to have failures, but at the same time, too, if we could help it, if we could avoid it, then we avoid it. Right, so this is finished. We're gonna move on to the cuttings from Big Boy. So guys, we have, as I said before, we're gonna put up the cuttings from Big Boy. These are the cuttings that have been dried and ready to go. You understand? So here we are. Here we are. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to dip them in a little bit of rooting hormone. As you can see, we would have made the cut and then we cut around here, the edge, so that we could encourage roots to grow from this point, not here, right? From this point. Now we have several pots 
four main pots. Pots that we bought. Pots that we inherit. We are on all over the place. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna ensure that the soil is free draining enough, but also maintains levels of water for a little bit longer. So it's free draining but not so free draining if you understand where I'm coming from. It's not gonna keep the plant all soggy and mushy. The damage it, the damage the branch, but it maintains some levels of water and we're gonna be checking these every day or every other day based on how the overall atmosphere goes because in the Caribbean we have two seasons unlike Canada and the United States and all other parts of the world the Caribbean has two seasons wet and dry the first half of the year is the dry season the second half of the year that we are in now is the wet season so what we're gonna do we're gonna plant stuff we're gonna put them in a in a secure spot where they are not subject to the rain if the rain decides to fall they're going to be safe in this space and we are going to check these plants every two days every day or every two days to see what is the condition of the soil if the soil is wet or if it is dry based on what would have transpired during the course of the day or the next morning so to do that when we plant it we're gonna check it the finger test stick your finger in your dirt because it could look dry on top here and when you stick your finger in your dirt down here is quite moist so it means that you don't need to wet it again right so that's the finger test good so based on our situation we're gonna keep checking so let's get to work with planting big boys um, children which would make this my grandchildren oh. and let me propagate let me get to work Okay, so as we're doing this, what we're also looking at is depending on the size of the branch, we want to use a pot that can take the weight. So I'm adding a wet in the arm to do it, making sure the weight is nice and moist. Sometimes you may forget and you wet it after, which is fine. Because ideally, you know, we're learning how to propagate a branch cutting from a desert rose. But we're learning the science behind it so that every time we plant one, it's a success. So this is good and well, see me water dripping. From the bottom, the mound is built around it, making sure that the plant is very firm in the soil. I'm just going to top up the dirt a little bit, and that's the end of this one. So, it makes sense. To have everything close by so that you won't have to be twisting and turning all out. Make sense, eh? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do this a few times well because we have a lot of branches to cut. Okay? So thank you so very very much for joining me here. You know. Now, if you all have any questions at all, any, any questions at all, or any comments at all, don't be afraid to drop that comment. Ask the question. Let's have that conversation. You know? Let us have that conversation. 
and let's get this going. So, one down, many to go. wondering what I use to wet plants with. It's rainwater. I collect rainwater in buckets and that is what I use to wet my plants. If it's a really bad situation and I really don't have no water in place, really dry on the plants, really really dry, I will use water from the tap but it has to be a pretty bad situation. So I'm blocking I'm making drainage trees with styrofoam. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all wrong with that. Alright guys, so we finished and we put all the plants in secure enough spots as you can see. And there's the dog. I could not put any more plants there because these guys are too tall <coughs> to go there right so hold on let me show you the rest and this is the last man here right as you can see we make use of things this is an old singer sewing machine stand that we made into our plant stand yep 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 so guys, right, this has been Potting with Shalon and we have put up the branches from Big Boy. So we're hoping that they all are successful and we have a story to tell, you know, um, as usual, as per usual, you know, like, subscribe. Share. you know leave your comments i would love to hear from you i would love to hear your thoughts if you have any questions you know um share it with your friends share it with your family and uh, yeah do the needful so again again and again and again thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for joining me i'm gonna relax <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.